In this video, we'll go over how to create a new listing within Vela. Starting out from the main view of any of your stores, you'll see the Create Listing button. Clicking this, you'll enter into a blank template. There are two ways to create a listing, using a listing profile or working from scratch. We cover listing profiles much more in depth in its own video, so we'll discuss how to create a listing manually. You're able to create a listing for a single shop or multiple across different platforms. For this listing, let's select the Shopify site we'd like to sell on alongside our Etsy store. From this drop-down menu, you'll have the opportunity to use this listing's details as a template from any of your other stores it's sold in. Since we're starting from scratch with nothing input, it doesn't matter which option we choose as they are currently the same. Adding the Shopify site, you'll see a new tab appear that is assigned to the Shopify listing. As a general overview of this feature, any edits made in a store tab, in this case Etsy and Shopify, will only take effect in their respective store. If we want to make identical edits to our listings, we can do so by clicking the tab with the Bella logo. Anything we add from this view will take effect across all the shops we have selected. Let's go ahead and add the same photo to both of these stores. You'll see it now visible under the Etsy and Shopify tabs. If we'd like to add another photo only to the Shopify listing, we can do so by clicking the plus button within the Shopify tab. Now, clicking through to the Etsy tab, you'll see that this listing has remained as is. Scrolling down, you'll have the ability to add a video to either listing. We'll skip this for now. Moving on to title, let's say we want to make it the same across both channels. Once again, clicking into the Vela tab, anything we type will apply to both listings. Vela's powerful AI functions are still available within this view. Clicking over to the Etsy tab and clicking the magic wand button, we'll see all the ways we can adjust our title with AI. We go over all of these in its own video, so let's opt for improved writing and AI will get to work updating our title. Since the AI algorithm is programmed to optimize listings for the platform they exist on, let's use the same function to update our Shopify title. With title set, let's move on to description. Clicking the Bella tab again, let's give our listings the same base description. Just as title, you can also use AI to improve this description. We'll go ahead and do so for the Etsy listing. Tags is the next section that we can edit. You can edit listing tags in two ways. From the Vela tab and clicking Profiles, you'll see all the pre-existing tag profiles across all the shops you have selected. Once again, we go in depth on how to make these in a separate video. You can also manually type them into the text box or use AI to generate them for you. We'll do so in this case. Heading down to price, you'll see the first instance where the Shopify and Etsy tabs look different. This is to reflect the unique settings each channel has. Let's set the same price across the board and then make platform-specific edits to the Shopify listing. It's a similar story with quantity. Once again, let's set the same base quantity and make the individual edits as needed. In the Variations section, you can edit these listings just as you can from the Variations tab. Once again, you can do this either using a Variations profile or typing them all in from scratch. Let's go ahead and give this product two variants.
We'll keep the prices the same, but we'll update the quantities so they all match. From the SKU tab, we can update the SKUs for the product variations we just created. As we have been bulk editing the variations, Bella has been keeping track to make sure we are completing all of the selected criteria needed per platform. As you can see here from the error badge, we still need to update some information for the Etsy listing. In this case, we need to make sure to assign it to a product category. Now that we're in the Etsy tab, you'll also be able to edit the Etsy-specific variations that don't apply to Shopify. The same is true for the Shopify tab. While we're here, let's update the shipping information for our Shopify listing. The Listing Details section allows us to add in some additional channel-specific details for these listings. Let's go ahead and add in this information for our Etsy listing as this is required. As you can see by a quick scroll, there is plenty of additional information you can input about your product. Back over to Shopify, you can input this vendor information, although this is an optional step. Moving on to personalization, we can toggle this on for our Etsy listing as this isn't supported on Shopify. Since we are selling a custom product, we'll make personalization required and add a short prompt. In the shipping section, you can see that for our Shopify listing, the changes we made in the variation section have taken care of this for us. However, we're able to choose a shipping profile and a return policy for our Etsy listing. Once again, these two details are required to be set on an Etsy listing. The last section, the search engine listing, allows you to customize how your product will display when people search. As you can see, this isn't something that can be customized for Etsy, but it can be adjusted for Shopify. For now, we'll say we're happy with what we see. Before we wrap up, let's discuss a few more functions that are possible from this view. Clicking this plus button next to any of these sections, we can add this listing to another channel. Let's go ahead and choose our other Shopify store. Once again, we are prompted to pick a listing to act as a template or start from scratch. Since we've customized this listing for one Shopify site, let's choose this one so the settings carry over. You'll now see the other shop as a tab in this view. If we click through our shop tabs, you'll see that the Shopify stores are the same while our Etsy listing is different, just how we had it. With all of this set, it's time to publish. Clicking this button in the bottom right will allow us to save this product as a draft or make it an active listing in all of our shops. Confirming this and waiting for it to publish, you will now see this listing appear in the main view. We can confirm that this product was added by noting the two Shopify icons right next to the Etsy logo on the right-hand side. Clicking through to our Shopify site, we'll also see it as a listing. Finally, if you'd like to make changes to this listing in the future, you can click through and see that all three listings are still linked. They can be edited both individually and in bulk, just as how it was when we were building them.